Here you are. Can you hear me? No. You're on mute. Hey. Here you are. <laughs> are you going? Good. I'm going to have a nice place because on my on my on my desk I'm totally backlit, but I can also do the anonymous, like totally, like like I'll be I'll be a black shadow. <laughs> we we should totally stop the experimental up. stuff and get this exactly. done. Exactly, <laughs> we're gonna piss off everybody. With uh, let me let me find a normal place to put my. You're looking at this. You're a photographer. Tell me if this. I don't just don't want to look like a total. This is okay. It's a uh, lateral light. Looks good. Smooth. No, nice. It's okay. Perfect. You managed to keep the <laughs> you managed to keep the computer in a steady uh, place. Exactly. Better, keep the computer in a steady place. Okay. okay. Nice. The it's very Parisian. And you dressed up and everything. Of course, I'm. Wow. No, I'm always I'm like I should be. I should be holding my pillow now. It's like. <laughs> My Shakespeare, okay. my, uh, my Churchill cup. Yeah. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Do you wake up early in the morning? I get up. Are you early I wake bird? up at seven. Well, I get up every night because I do something every night. So, so we start. Ah, okay. Is this okay? You don't. You don't. Yes. Why not? Okay. It's not the first question, but let's. Okay. let's yes. <laughs> hey. Hey. So um, no, I was asking you. I was I was curious. It's not a serious question. This is I not one of the three questions. But yes, are you? Do you like staying in bed? Because I wake up super early, like six six thirty. I'm already. No, I used to. My, all my life, I could never get out of bed. I mean, I was basically, I would get out of bed at eleven and twelve. And, and but when I was going out to take pictures, I had to get <laughs> up early. So I got up early every every. Like when I were in, in Afghanistan or something, I, I had to force myself. And now, with age, so look, um, <laughs> in the last, um, I don't know, last two years or something, I discovered the real joy of getting up really early. So I, sometimes, it? I yeah. usually get up at six. Now I get up at seven. But also, I, now I get up in the middle of the night once or twice because I have to shoot something. So I, I get up at like two, ah. then, I get up at two then I got up at yeah. 3.30. <laughs> so okay okay is that uh, your uh, your project the one you're doing now in the during the, yes, COVID, the whole zoom thing the yeah. screenshots? Yes. Mm. You're, you're attending parties all over the place now i didn't go to a party i went to a dance lesson at two o'clock wow like uh, it was nice it was a touching iranian dance, <laughs> dance like really like, like <laughs> teaching dancing and then i well, i went to it's like it's the wrong way of putting it but uh, yeah yeah you were there you it, were and there. then uh, a book launch which i didn't totally understand Somebody had told me <laughs> i just went there i was like I didn't, know anyone. I didn't know about the writer i didn't know about the book but it was <laughs> <laughs> it was a public book, uh, right? book launch you could join so where was the book launch in uh Somewhere in the U.S. Okay. It was like uh, I wrote it down. So it was like some, it's a small town, something in Montana. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so this morning because it's seven a.m. here in Brazil, mm -hmm. uh, I, I knew already already because I saw the 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 preview of the cover that there's this newspaper in Spain who's decided to put on the cover. It's the 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 debate there's always there with how you represent violence and death and so on. So they put the picture of an old man in mm. his house who died alone and all, you know, the people from COVID and all dressed like that in the cover. And there is, of course, a big debate in social media and so on. Um, and I would like to know what you think. I mean, you've been a war photographer. You, what is your, your, where do you stand when it comes to representing violence and how different it is to represent the Ebola outbreak and the COVID now that is around the corner? It's a very serious question for I think, seven years. I know, years. it's a very but serious question. More easy. But I think my <laughs> answer is probably because I, I, th I think I'm glad it's a serious question because I feel I've been, I think I've been sheltered a lot in, in it's also in my coverage, I'm sheltered. Look, I'm talking about a book launch. I'm talking about a dance lesson. So we're mm -hmm. like, we're like talking about like this kind of mundane things where people deal with the confinement, which is like this, wow, okay, we're locked up for a couple of weeks now. And I don't want to take it away from anybody. I'm sure it's horrible if you have like 
crazy kids or you have somebody ill or there's all kinds of or especially if there's domestic violence which i think is really really horrible and really really a very complicated situation but the confinement but the confinement as such is not really it's also not really the story i mean i think we're, there, there, there is something going on in the world outside which is uh so i haven't done i saw the picture very briefly like when you sent it right like right now i saw it on a, on a on the um, on on whatsapp like on my phone brownly so um uh, and I guess we should abstractly talk about a picture we're not going to show. No, <laughs> like, no. Yes, I mean, you can imagine it's a no, no, no. So I mean, you described it, it, but you've described it. It's a, it's a dead old man, so a dead man who, uh, old man who died. Who, and so I, I would lean towards being happy that this happens. I mean, I want people, I mean, in my work when in the, the old days when I was covering war, I think I'm, it's always been this ambiguous back and forth that when I'm in a war, I'm trying to show something. I feel, oh, I should show something else except of the war, the violence, and except of the, except the, the of the, um, yeah. uh, the, 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 like just yes. that people. At the same time, I it's always thought like. I needed to bring, I needed to show that I needed to spoil people's breakfast. Like I thought, part of my job was to really upset people as well, because and it's the only way. And I don't know, does it only work with gore? Does it only work? I mean, there's a limit always. If you get too gory, it just gets repulsive. It's undignified. It's 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 not right. On the other hand, just to be all poetic and and double double meaning and oh the ambiguity of war blah blah, blah it's a little fake too. I mean, it's like. So, so I was always fight, like in a in a very simple and a bit stupid way. I always fought or I always argued with editors to have a dead one in or somebody like to show death. This is a war, so like let's not let's not turn it all into some abstract mm -hmm. second degree thing. So I would generally, and I mean, look in what I'm doing now with Corona and, and the COVID crisis, I feel. Well, I, a, I feel yes. I feel I'm 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 dealing. I'm sort of dealing with these these, well, the, the the ways people address this, and it's it's all interesting. But there is another part out there, and there is another world out there. So, and I think there there have been a lot of difficulties. I think one of the mm -hmm. hypocrisies I would fight against is that we, oh, as long as it's Africa it was Ebola. Oh yes, everybody went to Ebola and took amazing pictures of 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 emaciated Ebola patients dead bodies. that's all great and dead bodies and you can do all of it all because it's Africa there's no right to that we're less sensitive about whatever it's, it's more of a messy country so you can do it you can like here sorry you can't walk into a hospital so there's different reasons there's reasons for, for protection that you shouldn't infect the people I shouldn't go in there then even if you're protected and there's all these privacy laws there's all this protectiveness but the protectiveness often turned out into protectiveness of white European people so we don't do this if it's totally. black and brown people. I'm sorry. This is the, that there's a so even a funeral. I'm sorry. The funerals are you don't photograph a funeral in France or in Italy. I w I want to do it for my project. I want to photograph a funeral because I think it's part. I, I will do it with all the respect of how we live. I don't want to have anybody at whatever my close funeral. We're not used to it. There's cultural mm -hmm. different things or whatever. But there is a very deep hypocrisy about it. That like oh, let's make iconic pictures of third world people. Or like sort of, yeah. or because they're suffering. But if it comes home, oh no, let's all let's keep it about the pot plant on my balcony, my confinement issues or something. I mean, no, I think also because uh, the the crisis, this this COVID crisis, is also such a a political uh, hot potato that people don't really want. If it was somewhere else, there would be no problem. But I see in Spain they're using it as a political weapon, of course. And they need to be very, very careful with what they show and always minimizing the crisis so people don't get, you know, I don't know if they're scared that, that there will be a revolution, that people will be so angry, so upset at politicians and the way the, the, the crisis is being dealt, that they, they need to uh, edulcorate reality so you never get to see it. But in the end of the day, I've been, uh, I've been it's not doing screenshots or just, uh, how do you call that? It's um, coronavirus update live. And you see all the numbers of deaths um, of countries. I mean, it, it's just a number, yeah. So I've been taking screenshots of that, and it's like growing and growing. Now we have like two million uh, infected, more than two million. But it's just numbers, and the way that all these crisis has been represented most of the time is is with numbers and funny situations and people in distress because they cannot go to the supermarket or because they run out of flour or so on. But in the end, we're forgetting about the origin of all this and it's Look, people I've, dying. Yes. 
So I, I, to... as, I I will get into a lot of troubles <laughs> on, on Twitter forums, but uh, I have to say that I agree with this picture because it is what it is. Look, it's it's. I think there's. I mean, there's, sure, there's somebody's going to like all these clever analysts of our visual world, whatever they're going to they're going to they're going to come up with something. Hopefully, I think there are a few complicated things. One is one was also. I mean, it comes down to, in photography, it comes down to this very stupid thing. I think this whole hazmat suit issue, that everybody looks like a Michelin man and people are very unidentifiable in, this, in these hospital situations, it also makes it very unhuman. So, I mean, so you, you have yeah. the patients who are wrapped up, you have the doctors who are invisible. So, of course, it's like, well, how, how are you going to be able to relate to this? So, mm -hmm. it was a little bit, I mean, I had an issue, there was, there was all these, in, like, in Iraq, in the war, there were these very nuanced issues. But when they moved from using a Humvee, a normal open Humvee, to, a, to an armored Humvee, suddenly there was no more interaction between the people in the car and the people outside. So it became inhuman. Then they changed mm -hmm. the uniform. The soldiers wouldn't go out without a helmet anymore and a shield in their face. So suddenly everybody turns into robots. Yeah. So you, there's, a whole, <laughs> there's a whole space of, of uh, what's it? there's a whole space of... Oh, uh, sorry. No, no, no. There's a whole space of, uh, of, of, of human, what we can use to show humanity in a way it doesn't exist anymore. So, uh. yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. It's like. Yes. Yesterday, I received a call from a friend also who's, um, who's uh, she, she used, she was, and she's, she, well, she was uh, the chief editor of the newspaper where I, where I used to work in, in Spain, in Alicante. And she was writing about COVID from home, mm -hmm. uh, teleworking and so on. And she just told me she received a call from her father and her father and her mother were infected. So, so, so she went there and uh, in, in less than four days, her father was dead. So she, she became, uh, she started writing. I mean, not, I don't think she was writing at that point, but um, in the first person. So, so that I was like so shocked because until now I hadn't, I was never, you know, so exposed to any of the consequences of COVID. And that's when you realize it's like, come on, we're just edulcorating the whole thing and we need to be more serious and responsible about it because otherwise it's going to be like, you know, like a, a sleepover. <laughs> you know, this funny thing that you say, oh, we sleep over. No, I mean, look, house. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, all in I'm favor of making people, I'm all in favor of supporting the resilience of people and make the best out of the confinement. And all of, I'm totally, look, this is, let's not, I mean, anybody who comes to me and tells me, oh, this is the end of the world, I'm going to die, we're all going to die. Of course you calm it down. Of course you don't, you don't put oil on the fire in this. But on the other hand, I also think we have a kind of a, if there is a chance, if there's a possibility to show the real, yes, and sometimes it's a little simplistic and sometimes it's a little straight. I think that's, that's what it should be, what it has to be. We can't do the whole, we can't do the whole, there's some strange sound in the thing, no? Do you hear the same thing? Is there like a sound in the, sorry. Yes, sorry. It's no, 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 it's sound sound in the computer or something? No, no, it's it's uh, Bruno. It's my husband. Ah, no, 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 no of course, no, no, hi. <laughs> <In the laughs> don't <kitchen. laughs> worry, yeah. I don't think to wait. No, no, just don't. They're gonna scream at us. Yeah, and they tell us we have to redo it. They have to. They, they tell us we have to do it. Again. <laughs> no, we just had breakfast, and he was doing no. the dishes because he's like super. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not, a, it's not an outside, it's, yeah. it's a technical sound. It's a technical sound in the computer. No, 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 it, I think it was because there is the ambient sound in the kitchen no, that no, it would no, cut no, sorry. your no, 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 sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's not that important, but I have to say that I need full attention, but I don't want to have to do it again. <laughs> Anyway, so now okay. I'm, 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 so, I'm, I'm, again, I'm curious. Look, it's the same thing with like the Ilan Kurdi, the, the the boy who died on the on the on the on the Turkish mm. on the shore who was swept. <laughs> it is very straight, and it's very, it's very. I don't know. It's it's vulgar is the wrong word, but it's very. It's it's you know, maybe I think it, it does it. It does. You have know, I I am. <laughs> Sorry, very connected to Mexico. In, in Mexico, they have a really like a taste and, and they love these kind of images. And, and you, start, you know, they, they, you're driving, you stop in a traffic light and then you turn your head and you have a guy, you know, with the cover of uh, Metro or any other magazine with, you know, like blood and everything. They love that. This is a bit too much. 
because at, well it is too much it is too much and, and it shows something completely different it's true that there's violence in mexico but not at that rate uh, I think it, it all comes in the right balance. I mean, if we're talking already about uh, 18,000 people uh, dying in Spain, like died in Spain, I think it's fair that the the, the and there's no picture of a funeral. There's no picture of a coffin. Yes, no picture of funeral. There's no picture of a coffin. No pictures of. Hmm. So I'm not saying that you put it every day, but I think it's about time to to really come back to you know put your. Uh, Ground and, but what I'm worried about, and I mean, I've always been bet, I've always been battling with this, and it's like, of course, there is this. Well, there is sort of the protection of the individual. Like, okay, I used to go, I go to Chechnya, I used to go to whatever in Afghanistan, somewhere you're far away. In the old days, you would take a picture of somebody dead, or or somebody who died, or some funeral, or something, a very emotional, very heavy situation. The people who were close to it, they would never see the picture. So there was there was this protection, which I think was a very human protection. It wasn't that I was trying to yeah. get away with something. It's just simply what well, it's probably humanly the better thing that they don't see it because you don't want to see we don't want to re relive something really horrible that three days later again because mm -hmm. of, i don't know maybe it doesn't make a difference but anyway so there was this now it's all coming together so now there's no more there's no more filter there's all like when i took in in iraq i took pictures of a, a soldier who was killed a u.s soldier so there was always this big talk oh in the embedding you know that so i was actually allowed to do it I was legally allowed to do it mm -hmm. by the embed agreement. I was, I couldn't file it before 10 days before the family was informed or anything, but nobody ever published a picture. So all the Europeans didn't publish it either. <laughs> and that's my, my fear is not, I don't think, I don't believe, I don't know, maybe. I, I, I try not to believe in the big conspiracy that all oh, the gov governments are now trying to totally stop us from doing this. Well, I don't know, the guy in New York, he had to fly a drone into the dug out coffins in order to do it, but I think there's a censorship or almost a control on the side of the media who don't want to do this. We don't want to have this to our readers. We won't have to protect them but from this maybe sort of a corporate way. Maybe it's the audience who doesn't want to see it. Maybe yeah, the media I mean, is actually protecting the audience. audience that... Yes, but if they, if they don't want to see, then they won't buy that newspaper and that is good for, that is not good for business and so on. I mean, it's people who are really not, uh, not people are, we, we're super protected. We're surrounded by, you know, like cotton and, and yes. we don't want to face reality and so on. But anyway, lots of less lessons these days. Anyway, so I think we're, yeah, I think we're very careful. It's so close, it's in your building, so. So what are the, I mean, I don't know, what are the arguments of the people who are against it? What, because of dignity and because it, one doesn't do this? So. Yes, uh, about, uh, yes, it's about dignity. It's about the rights of, uh, of the person and of the family, respect for the family. Uh, and also a lot, a lot say, many say that it doesn't bring any information, information which I, I totally disagree. Of course, it brings mm -hmm. information. That's, I mean, it's the, the best information and the more straightforward information you can get at this point. With all the knowledge that there is out there. It's not very subtle. It's not very... Uh, you don't look five times and, and think... It's five not like a, and it's not like a picture, if you look at it, it's, it's not, you know, it's not the Mexican. Uh, <laughs> it's not the Mexican. I spent a lot of time with a, I spent a lot of time with a guy in Mexico. I spent a lot of time Sorry? with the guy in Mexico. I spent a lot of time with a crime photographer in Mexico, and I and he was exactly really? looking for this. I was totally fascinated. Like, I thought it was. <laughs> I mean, he had a very odd attitude to all these body parts. I mean, he was. No, no, I, I, no, you know, I have a big archive of that kind of, uh, <laughs> I of image. I have, a, <laughs> I have all the archives, so I know. Well, no, I don't know. We'll see. There's um, lots of things to learn, definitely, from this, and we're still not even halfway done. So, I think it will become more common. It, otherwise, it's super hypocrite. That there is no deaths, and and it, it has. I mean, it will change. There will be more. I'm sure. Anything like that in Paris already? In France already? I haven't seen anything. Have no. you been following Italy, the newspaper? Italy, there was a few no? stories. I mean, of course, there's a, Italy. There is a. Mm -hmm. There's some access. People are working on it. I mean. Alex, Lorenzo, mm -hmm. they're getting, they're getting things. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm, I'm uh, so, so what, I don't, yeah. So do you spend like, you really all day taking pictures of, of uh, Zoom meetings? No, not all day. I mean, I'm all day, I'm very intensely working on it because it's, 
kind of complicated and I'm trying, I think I have, I'm shifting a little bit now. I've, I was like also at the beginning, I really didn't know how to do it, like whatever. So I was, I was like struggling with the whole concept. And then I, so now what I'm still doing is of course, I'm trying to get into existing things that happen on Zoom, like existing Zoom calls, existing, existing. I might have one super interesting for you. Oh, one super always. interesting. <laughs> It's the, um, the priest of the church here mm -hmm. who's giving confession via Skype. Ah, confession. I had it on my list. Very nice. And it's in Brazilian. I won't understand but anything. I need to take a picture of him. Oh. <laughs> it's in Brazilian. Yes. I'll take you to the club. I'm going to meet him and I, and I will. I'll, tell, I'll take <laughs> you to the club. I, I should do that before, yes. before Monday. <laughs> and, uh, no, but what I'm trying it's to. It's a black Rastafari priest. Hmm, okay. So, what, I, like, eh? no, so. What, I'm, what I'm trying to do more now is I'm trying to, well, anyway, I'm sort of emulate, like sort of playing on the notion of what I used to do as a real photographer, but I would like sort of doing, doing similar things. Mm -hmm. But I'm also doing more, I'm trying to do more precise things that I say, okay, I really actually, I want to use the, te the technique to do real reporting on my own because of places I can't get to. Like people who are in confinement, people okay. who are in isolation. So I've been talking to people who are okay. in Spain, who are in a hotel. So there's no way anybody can go in there. Even it's not about access; it's just about sanitation laws. I cannot go see them because mm -hmm. they have to be locked off. I'm so so. How am I? And in prisons? I would love to. I mean, we're sort of looking into it because the parlor talks are being uh, have been uh, transferred into Skype. Yes, so, but uh, maybe ICRC, who does these meetings with, uh, for example, in Guantanamo, they allow them to have Skype conversations with their relatives. I know. I know. No, no, no. I mean, Guantanamo, <laughs> whatever. I'm, 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 I'm working on it, I hope so. I mean, look, I don't know. What's... Okay. People are, with it. It's, it's, people are a little reluct reluctant. They're surprised. They're like, don't they send one picture? They say, well, this is illustrating it. It's enough what you what you have and uh no, it would be super interesting but, I, but like, I don't want to like for example i don't want to do something somebody else that i don't want to do anything i could do as a real photographer if i happen to be in that country mm -hmm. i wouldn't do it like, I, like okay. at the beginning i thought hey, of course i should go to a hospital but hold on there's no point photographers can go to hospitals so there's nothing yeah. for me but photographers cannot go to confined homes of the elderly because nobody and and, sur and, sur and surgery rooms also like maybe they do oh, tele surgery, surgery well, or something. But like then that. it's also no. But yeah, I'm, I'm like, if there has to be an existing. You see, I you cannot go. You have been in like surgery, intensive right? care. Well, I think so. No, but it also yeah, there needs to be a reason okay. to do this. I don't think. But I don't think what I'm doing is replacing. It's replacing journalism. It just should. It just should, or like replacing the 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 normal way of doing things. Actually, I think there's a situation now where we have to look these dance classes or even how banal they are, they wouldn't be able to happen. The book launch would not be able to happen in a normal way. So it has to be, mm -hmm. it has to be online. Not, I choose like me calling and like if your priest is doing the, the confession, it makes sense confession. because he's doing, it, he's doing it online because he cannot see the confessor, confessor or whatever it's called. So, whereas yeah. going into a church, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So, anyway. Yeah. They were they were doing this procession with the virgin, and they put mm -hmm. it in the back of the pickup, and it was driving around. <laughs> but That's only, how the they did the or, only the priest, only the priest. No, it's uh, just uh, you know a pickup truck and someone driving it, and okay. people were in the street in the front of their houses, and the pickup just mm -hmm. with the Christ and the virgin, the virgin of Dolores of uh, pain. <laughs> Sometimes life is, uh, is uh, stranger than fiction, definitely. <laughs> so, anyway. one another question that I always ask myself since I met you, mm -hmm. uh, that's maybe four years ago, almost four years ago. Um, why are you not on social networks? Like, why don't, are you not oh. active? I mean, you're super connected. With, uh, you're not on Instagram. I don't I'm know on Facebook. Instagram, but I don't share Facebook it. No, I'm not. Twitter. I you are? I, I, I never see you. I don't do much. I put up the square print cell now because I felt I should have put it up. I was like, no, I'm not. I don't, <laughs> look, I don't, I don't feel, I don't, I'm, I'm private. I don't like to, I don't like to, I think I, for me, it's very hard to. No, but. It's very, I think. No. I really, no, I'm not. I'm not even now we're doing the blog, the blog we're doing with Magnum. 
I, I feel like, like I have a lot of stuff to do. I feel like, okay, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have anything yet. I don't have anything to share. So I'm more, I don't like to, I don't know. I can't find the right. To connect. <laughs> no, I think for me, it's hard to find the real balance, to find the right balance between, I think I'm fairly normal and straight or whatever with, with people. In normal, I don't want to do but I don't necessarily want to do this for the whole world. And okay. so, I, so I don't want to create a, I don't want to create an in between, between like, look, my job is to publish pictures. So that's what I do. I go, like I take pictures and then I find a way how I really publish them. And sometimes it could be on, maybe it could be on social media. I've just never really embraced social media as a form. For people, like Instagram for no, me. No, that was good. more, I mean, not, not social media as a way maybe to connect or to share your life or, or show how cool you are or uncool you are or anything like that. But more like uh, you are quite experimental as a photographer and you understand that any sort of image capture like a screen can be a lens and, and mm. so on. And, and I was curious, like, why you didn't try Instagram as a platform no, for example, where you look, I've, do I've something been, specifically the, for that platform? When I did the World War One thing, I thought the Instagram could have been absolutely a perfect tool of using it. Mm -hmm. I never got it. This had nothing to do with my own little hang-ups about privacy or anything. I had, I had enough to share, and I don't have a problem in sharing it. Um, I felt that I, I couldn't, I, I didn't like the way the stream happened and things were coming out. I was like, for me, it didn't make sense. The way it came out, it was the wrong form. So I, so I stopped. I didn't do it. But that's like, and the other things, I don't, I don't know. It's like... I'm, I'm, I'm very slow. I mean, I'm, I'm very slow with the, with the, with the, <laughs> You're not very slow, Thomas. <laughs> no, but I'm slow with coming out. I'm, I'm maybe fast when I do something and I'm all a little, little wound up or something, but I'm not, I'm slow <laughs> when I, like, for me, it's a little bit with, I, mean, I keep saying it, but it's a little bit like with the pickles in the thing. I mean, in an ideal world, I do something, I put the pickles in a jar, I have the jar sitting on the shelf for five years, and then I go back and then I look at it and then I make a book out of it. Something like this. This is for me, this is the right rhythm. I don't want to have, I don't want to use the something now. Formula. Like I'm, yeah. I'm a journalist in the sense of journal. I like it when I'm forced by it, but a job because they tell me go and like you have to take a picture and you send it out and it, it deals with the immediate and you know, there's also this sort of simplicity and you don't, it's no, no big bullshit. You just go and you do it. I like that. But it, it has to come from a structure, like sort of, I'm not doing it for myself. Mm -hmm. For myself, I'm not going to recreate a sort of urgency of sharing something. Sometimes I've done it, I've, I've tried and I've played, but I've, I've never, I don't know. Like even now with the, with the screens, I have to do a presentation. I have to do something. People ask me, what does it look like? And I'm like, yes, of course, uh, I, don't have, I don't have time. I'm like, I'm sort of, I don't want to deal with it. I, 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 like, I just want to <laughs> emulate all of it and then I'm going to sit on it and yeah. Okay. Uh, Fair enough. Good. Uh, I I like it. I like Instagram. I like it because it it connects. In, in I don't like the you know the voyeuristic part of it. But I think and also I remember when I was on in Facebook more active. I used to be very playful with the platform and change names. I have different profiles and create this absurdity oh, really? where mm -hmm. you're actually like using it more. Yeah. yeah. No, and I'm then I got disaster. bored and I'm a, I became I'm a total disaster. exposed and, and I started receiving haters and so I closed the account. <laughs> well, I made a book about my haters on Instagram. Look, I like, I like, really? um, no, I like the, I like consuming Instagram a lot. I'm totally addicted. I mean, I love normal Instagram accounts. Oh, really? Normal, I'm, I'm totally, I'm drooling over it. I can't stop myself. I mean, even now with the Zoom <laughs> <laughs> the Zoom thing is very special. I love the Zoom thing. There's something very, it asks a lot of questions. It makes me very uncomfortable with certain things. When I suddenly walk into somebody's Zoom, it's like, oh, are they sure I'm okay to be here or whatever? There's all kinds of, there's all kinds of funny things happening. But Instagram is more, it's like, it's more, it's less complicated in that way. But um, no, I'm totally addicted to it. I mean, I'm, I'm always measuring the world. I'm taking Instagram away from me. Because I want to, I want to, I want to, what I want to focus on what I see. Because I don't want to get overwhelmed by Instagram. Because yeah. I find so many weird things and interesting things and insights and and there is, yes, of course, there's a voyeuristic part in it. But like, a, like voyeuristic in the sense of satisfying my normal curiosity. I mean, I think I, I'm not looking yeah. for anything perverted. And, um, yeah, it was that easy to know about people that you just walk by in the street or that you meet in the street. 
uh, as it is as to follow an account, I think we would be doing the same, but you just cannot do it in real life and it's okay to do it online. So yeah, yeah. yeah it makes sense. Now I feel less guilty. <laughs> I thought you didn't lose any time and waste any time with the social networks. And I was oh, no, I spent too much. I've never it's been, been I've never got <laughs> Facebook. I'm, now I'm using Facebook for research the first time because it's somehow mm -hmm. I figured out certain things it's easier to find on Facebook. It's fresher, the information or stuff. But, but I, I'm totally horrible on Facebook. And I mean, look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a professional suicide on, on Facebook. I have two Facebook accounts. One has something posted about an exhibition I had in 2012. That's the last entry. I mean, it's like, <laughs> I don't even know how I want to. I don't know how to merge them. I don't know how to shut it down. I want to make it really neutral, just sort of very neutral. <laughs> I don't know. I never. Uh, yeah, I don't know. And, uh, and and I'm not opening up my Instagram because I want to know everybody. I, I, I'm not accepting anybody who I don't physically know, because I think it's okay. weird. I don't want to show my pictures to people I've never met. And like on this in this case, but I'm also not doing anything. I'm also not doing anything. That's but, publishing. So. Mm. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, I think we've got like exactly. more than we should already. More, because exactly. We should have stick to. Just one more silly question. You know, okay. I like silly questions. One yeah. more. If you had to choose mm -hmm. um, between being and you had to restart now, imagine there is like this end of the world situation and mm -hmm. you need to reinvent yourself. Okay. Uh, still a photographer, would you be? A nature photographer, a wedding photographer, or a passport photographer? These are the three options. Oh. <laughs> well, definitely not nature. I mean, no. <laughs> I <knew that. laughs> not, not nature. Um, I really am not into nature. Sorry. Um, uh, um, you need to come to Brazil one day. I need to sh attract you. <laughs> Sahara told me you hated it. But not because of the nature. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you'll tell me one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, ah, it's a difficult one. I'd like to say the passport photographer because it's kind of like really, wow, the passport, the minimalistic, <laughs> turn into a box and people press my button or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No wedding. I mean, I love wedding photography. I love taking pictures at wedding. I mean, wedding. I think weddings are great, and it's like there's something beautiful in the in the because these people want it. Also, there's like it's like it's everything. Everything sort of makes sense. It's like you do it, and like I mm -hmm. guess I mean it's not where I don't know. Maybe you can be a wedding photographer during weekends and then the weekdays you can be a passport photographer. I'm sure you could manage. Yeah, but as long as we can leave the nature out, I'm fine with both of them. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for your answer, All right. Thomas. Thank you. It was great you talking to you. Do you have any question for me? Anything? Because I can of course I have questions, but I already, I already wrote to Vicky. I said we should do it the other way around. So this is like, now we're done, no? Okay. This is now we're done. Now okay. We're done normally. Done. Done. Yes, yes. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, BK. Thank, Thank you, you Paul. <laughs> um, uh, who else is on it? Um, who else is dealing with it? Um, um, In the, I don't know. <laughs> um, no, with the, um, no, I said we should do the return. We should do the, the revenge. Yeah, okay. This is going to go the on revenge. for <laughs> Like the Champions League and you play home or you play at exactly. the other. Exactly, the replay. The, Replay the other way around and then. Here we go again. Thanks to Thomas and Christina for the last conversation. So, ready for the next one. This photographer will ask the questions. Alessandra Sanginetti. And this photographer will answer. Oh, I have a call. <laughs> Jonas Bendixson. Good luck. Thank you. And good night. Sleep tight. <laughs>